You choose the man, when you choose the bear. How about we talk about that time women chose gorillas? This what? is Shibani. Shibani is a 27 year old living in the Hiyashi oh, that's Zoo. The dude, that's the dude in the Japan Zoo. What? That's what? the gorilla in the Japan Zoo. That though, I think it's Japan or don't, China. Don't ruin it for me. Don't ruin it's it. about, yeah. Don't ruin it for me. Let's hear it. Nagoya, Japan, where his face card went viral and caused a direct increase in the number of female visitors. Call him George the way he had these women curious. What? Last yeah. So I got a chance? Yeah. I need to go to Japan? That's crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did, what did he do? He said, I think he got you beat. His eyes are a little bit more wider and rounded. He has great facial features. Tie B, tie B, tie B. He like a, he like a handsome squirrel. Okay. Uh, other, you know what I'm saying? Thinker. Thinker. Okay, Thinker. okay. He do look real because that's the main guy that compared him. I'm saying the gorilla look, it's a good photo. What the hell? I know, I was just, I was just making sure you was going to double down. Too. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, Shabani's also a 400 plus pound primate with a perpetual pump. Not only that, he's a loyal husband with two wives and children. Okay. That's a family. Wait, loyal, loyal husband, loyal husband. Loyal husband. Two with two wives. wives. Yeah, yeah, math, math. Hey, that's my type of guy right there, boy. The hey, math wasn't math. That boy migrated to go back to the jungle. Let's be friends, homie. Teach me your ways. Uh, man being lusted after. Some of the words used to describe him were punky, heartthrob, metrosexual, uh, spornosexual. I didn't even know what that meant. Uh, what the article even it? asked, quote, would you go for a romp in the jungle with Shabani? Oh my huh? god. A sinful liaison, that's harambe. At women hot body, that's it's, it's, He got that's body harambe. pillows? He got merch. What you know the craziest thing? I'm, I'm gonna be so real with you. Every time I see a gorilla, I think about when Majin was like he take back shots from a gorilla for oh a my million God. dollars. For how much? For it was like a million. He was no, like, my God. I thought they got the mini meat. Yeah, stuff. I thought I thought that's what was. Yeah, that's what he said. Majin was like, it's three inches. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you, brother. <laughs> Hey man, a million dollars, a million dollars. Ben Flambe, call him Susan B. Anthony the way he had women showing up to the poll. Just kidding, real ones know gorillas ain't packing anything but a rope. But yeah, Shabani's looks transcended the laws of nature, and if I had a nickel for every time a woman's feelings towards a gorilla made headlines, I'd have two nickels. What? what? Which is too many more than I should have. Yeah. One woman was a frequent visitor at the Dijar de Blijdorp Zoo what? in the Netherlands, oh. and her favorite was a silverback named Bakido. Up to four times a week, she'd find him, make direct eye- Four times a week? But she, she had one of the more control joints. <laughs> Every time they locked eyes, look at though. She blowing the bag at the zoo. At, at the zoo. At the zoo. She eating a banana in front of him. Yeah, she ooh. ooh. Uh, <laughs> this one for you. Eye contact and smile. I'm not even gonna explain how much of a gorilla middle finger that, that is. Was that a fucking magician hypnotist? And smile. Oh, he had a camera. I'm not even I'm gonna not, explain how much of a gorilla. This one got a grill in. What the? Mm. <laughs> Don't you dare say it. Say something. Say, say something. Nah, you gonna get it your damn self. Go get it your damn self. The middle finger that is. Keepers tried to warn her, but she didn't listen. Her and Bikito, they, they had a connection. Oh, they connected all right. One day she smiled again and called him constipated because Bikito was not letting that shit slide. Bikito broke out and would proceed to put the beats on her like Afro music. And he what? jumped over a water filled what? ditch to do it. What? Gorillas hate water. What? Kido was fed up. He was calmly escorted back home where he lived well for another 16 years until he passed. Why, he beat her for no reason? He just... Because he smiled. She, she, he I, was think, out of, I, I think he took it as a threat. Like, yeah, because oh. they be showing teeth when they... You know what I'm saying? Oh. Don't ask me. She didn't even do her research. Boy, she beat her like a drum. He what? loves me. I can I can, I can fix change him. him. I yeah. Can. Beat, him like a, beat her like a bass drum. <laughs> He jumped on the water. Come He escaped the beaver. That's crazy. And, 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 and went back in. Peacefully <laughs> chilling. <laughs> Passed away in April of 2023. His get back on his biggest fan slash op was immortalized as a word of the year. And the woman, who I originally felt bad for, apparently didn't get hit hard enough. So what? for that I don't know, my first aspiration in life felt bad for, apparently He remains my by. darling. Oh. I go to the zoo almost every day with my oh. husband. Oh. Husband. <laughs> I have. Oh. I even have pictures and videos from birth when he was only four months old. Oh, oh my god. He didn't get hit hard enough. enough. So if y'all don't know, my first aspiration in life was to be a zookeeper. Oh. I even had a state-of-the-art custom virtual simulator to prepare. Yeah, that dream flatlined pretty quick. You know what's crazy? I remember seeing Zoo Tycoon 2 
And it's a store. It's like Marshalls. They don't have them no more. But it was, it was like family. It's like a dollar store. Mm. Zoo Tycoon 2 used to be in that mother religiously. That game, was, it was one. It was one copy. It was in the hood. That game stayed in there till I moved from Georgia. <laughs> 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 like, I'll never forget the last time we went to the store was covered in dust. Oh my God. Nobody was picking they it up. They never sold it. Never picking up for reasons, but this video is going to be about probably what my life would look like as a zookeeper the weird stories, the dirty secrets, and the random oh! show you have the Oh, oh, wow, crying, dreaming, uh, 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 talking. Uh, 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 see, uh, I know you're too uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, that was that nice. was a lot of dookie juice. That was man, what if her mouth was open? She got squirted on. What my life would look like as a zookeeper. The weird stories, the dirty seat. Yep. Oh, they wasn't prepared. Oh, they had wetsuits on. Oh, she didn't even put the hood up. That's bro, not enough. Bro, I don't want to put that tail down, please. And the random trivia the average person would probably know nothing about. Like, what is the most dangerous animal in the zoo? Oh, like, well, he played a dangerous game. The answer game. just might surprise you. Uh, actually, probably not. Born Free USA has a database where you can look up incidents involving exotic animals in America. A, and if you search up animal attacks ad. by any species yeah. in any yeah, state, it's an ad. You know what I'm saying? Uh Hey, in an AZA accredited zoo, you'll see that the number one culprit are big cats. Because oh. out of 101 recorded injuries, they caused 46 or 38 percent. Elephants were Damn. second at just over 17 percent. But if you do anything, it's that a lot of them had it coming. Just probably by. You might have to cut that. All blurred. Motherfucker, my lunch. <laughs> cut out. No. Damn, two phones? Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. She pulling up a goddamn... Where is it? Where is it? I know it's up. I just can't find it. Hold on. Where the fuck? Hold on, maybe it might be on the... <laughs> <clears throat> ah, here, here it is. You ready? Mm -hmm. I don't see a difference. Because <laughs> got 400 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got 400 Yeah. Lying. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> We're gonna continue or we're just gonna see a good giggle in our goddamn day. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, hit that. Uh, where you going? He going back to the, he going back to the dome. He, he did it with the. He said. He going back to the dome. Did you? <laughs> you. <laughs> Like <laughs> Come on, sit down, man. Come on. We're second at just over 17%, but if Bikidu proved anything, it's that a lot of them had it coming. Just probably by primates earned bronze in brutality at 14%. Reptiles like Komodo dragons and bears like pandas got just over 4% each. 9% were marine attacks by animals like orcas, dolphins, and stingrays. And the remaining 13% were just other. Other being something like a kid falling into a rhino enclosure or a woman climbing into a giraffe pen and nearly getting kicked oh, off the census. Damn. Now take it with a grain of salt, because I thought for sure zebras would be up there, but they weren't even on the list. And I I know for a fact at least a couple should, but these are attacks. I want to know what Zuby's most likely to put a halo on my head. Well, in the same database, if you looked at every time a person got put on a shirt at a zoo, accredited or not, big cats did it over 40% of the time. With elephants at a hair under 30, and surprisingly, bears barely even scratched at less than 9%. But here's a well, I, th I thought bears aren't uh, in the aren't in. Zoos like that. Yeah. I thought I thought they were. Well, they, yeah. they, it, it's an animal, ain't it? Well the reason why I didn't think they was in there because they you know they found in America. We we gonna get shit exotic. Tigers? Well, like, to be honest, more, there's more tigers in America than anywhere else. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we captured them. Like niggas keep them as pets and shit. You know one broke free in Houston a while back? Yeah. 
That nigga was just roaming the street. That big ass gator too. Big Tex. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga was just swimming just in there. Yeah, that, that, that happened to uh, you think we got a, you think we got a tiger in this neighborhood? I think we do. You think so? Why think would you think you, we got you, a tiger? In like, I, I don't think this section of the neighborhood, but you know, that section over there, nah, like going towards HEB, I'm gonna show you. It'll look like they got tigers over there. Why? It just has to feel like I'm too bougie. Okay, yeah, okay, sure. I respect that. The thing, if you look at non-accredited zoos, the big cat number grows to 47% with bears and elephants at 16 apiece. And lastly, in accredited zoos, elephants actually took the lead at 47%. Big cats were the suspect the 33% of the time, no. and bears oh. weren't even on the board. So if you're a zookeeper at a zoo that actually has its stuff together, statistically, if there's any animal that erases you, it's gonna be an elephant. And if it's a suspect... Oh! 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 Cut town. I just, I just, cut town just to be, yeah, and press it again. Oh, oh no, you, you, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. How you back? Oh, oh. <laughs> what it look like in there? Oh, <laughs> you think you can see? It's dark. It was just dark. It had What if he would have shit and pushed it out? See? And it just has head just pulsated all like this. <laughs> like, and I, I <laughs> He's in there. Remember the clip from earlier? What if that happened while he in there and they just oh. shoot him out? Oh, and then all it, he oh. landed back. And, oh. and you know he was in there. Ah! Oh. You can't hear him. You can't hear nothing. Oh, no. Oh. Best believe a big cat might be your downfall. But also oh, no. remember, if it does happen, it'll probably be oh, your what? fault or your coworkers. Now, if you work at a zoo long enough, eventually some animal's going to escape, Is whether it's a ass? minor inconvenience I like. I thought it was. It looked, it looked like a prolapsed one. Like a bunch of meerkats or a code red dead the rights and merc on site like oh, a chimpanzee. Wow. It's gonna happen. Is that, wait, 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 wait. Well, how that boy ain't in flames? That's what I'm saying. I guess, wait. What? And he, he was doing that with a tranquilizer thing dart in him, bro. Bro, how he not on, he on the power line. So can we touch him or not? Oh, that might be a telephone line. Okay. Or maybe they cut the power? They shouldn't. He was, they well, should've. <laughs> Fried monkey for dinner. Action is pro action, so some zoos do escaped animal drills, but instead of actual animals, yeah. Yeah. Really? One really? Japanese zoo will have workers cosplaying as an animal taking a cue from Madagascar and breaking out. Thank God, because I'm not even going to tell you what I thought this was. What the hell? But it's a pretty harmless <laughs> way to remind everyone what to do when an animal gets out. That really? being said, this, this would be a is, tragic time work. to not be sober at the zoo. But what animal is the most likely to escape? In my non-professional online opinion, a bird? there's two. If you want to test how good a spot is at keeping the animal in, you should probably hire the man of the forest or the orangutan. Fu Manchu was an orang that nearly got an entire staff fired because there was a solid week where they would show up to work and the entire orangutan posse would be posted up outside. About a week was how long it took for them to realize that Fu had snagged a wire, hid it in his mouth most of the day, and used it to pick his enclosure lock when no one was looking. And Ken L was a hairy Houdini who got out so many times that the zoo had to hire rock climbers to find every possible point of exit. Bro, wow. bro. Like, them niggas is too smart. Too bro. smart. Bro. Too That's smart. insane. Bro, wait, till they, wait till they figure out how to use ARs. We're done. They're wearing fucking cuts. Say his That's words. No. Words. no. Say his words. No. Don't clip that. It's too late. Don't. Yeah, you're cooking. Clip buddy. this shit, bro. Yeah. Good luck. I shit. accept it. They didn't know how he got out, and Ken for sure wasn't about to tell him. And what did he do with all his freedom? Well, when he wasn't wandering the zoo looking at animals <laughs> like everyone else, he was pelting rocks at another O-Rank named Otis, because even uh, a 95% nah, vegetarian can make room for beef. beef. The other animal's the red panda. Do your homework on how hard it is to keep this red face. Do your homework on Jay Main. Yeah, yeah. The panda that get escape all the time. Do, yo, do, yo, do your homework on Jay Main. Raccoon in. A quick Google search will tell you that a red panda escape has made. I'm sorry, Wolverine. <laughs> the news at least once in 1978, 2005, 2007, 2008, 2009, Damn. 2012, 2013, Damn. Damn. and more. My favorite was Red Panda Rusty slipping out the Smithsonian and walking the streets of Washington, D.C. completely unbothered. So yeah, if your job's keeping a ninja panda or- They look like foxes though. Why they call pandas? That's a good question. I feel like he said it one time in a video. I can't remember. Because that show looked like a fox. A chubby ass fox. Yeah. Or a Cheeto flavored gorilla in check, you're gonna have a bad time. But some animals are a great time to work with, and it's often not the ones you'd expect. Rhinos are legally blind trauma tanks that'll buck up to a butterfly. In a zoo, it's a two ton Labrador with the personality of a lap dog. And they put the zoo in zoomies. 
turkey vultures are unironically like precocious toddlers that'll follow their favorite keeper around and play games with them. And cheetahs might just be the most people-proof predator of them all. In fact, almost too much for their own good. Cheetahs get treated like the doormat of the savannah, and their life doesn't become a cakewalk in captivity. Oftentimes, the overgrown house cat is too anxious to even think about making more cheetahs. So, some cheetahs get emotional support dogs. So the dogs are assigned. I know you fucking lying. Yeah. It's adorable. It's, it is. That's some adorable ass shit. It's adorable. Yeah. But like, you a predator for real. Yeah. Like, like, you really saw. Step your game up. You bro. really saw. It's like when like a big buff nigga get like a chihuahua or something. This the fastest niggas on earth? That's a crazy image. We gonna get you a shih tzu. <laughs> juicy. Juicy bark. <laughs> <laughs> juicy. Set it get on, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> and they can probably vicious as hell too. Yeah. To the cheetahs as cubs, and the idea is they become a bonded pair with the cheetah oh, seeing Fido oh, as a role model to mirror and take social cues from. It's literal emotional support because if the introvert cat sees that the dog isn't stressed or pressed, it allows them to chill out, or at least enough to motivate them to multiply without a calculator. And to make it even more wholesome, really a lot of zoos it. like the one in San Diego will use dogs <laughs> rescued from kill shelters. Definitely one of the top five animal so friendships. Again? It's not even the only one in San Diego. This is Zari the Zebra, also from the San Diego Zoo. And this is her best friend, Sophia. You see, Zari doesn't just live there. She's one of the ambassadors for the zoo, spreading smiles and awareness. But I'm also guessing you can't really have your ambassador around other zebras, cause let's just say that might not be the best influence. So in comes Sophia, a miniature Mediterranean donkey and Zari's roommate and best friend. To say they're inseparable would be a massive understatement. Keep her from, keep from murking niggas. Black and white ass. Okay. Right? Right? Yeah. Respectfully. And while I can't... I think of Kevin Hart. A deer, bro. A deer, bro. It's a fucking deer, bro. <laughs> On my own. <laughs> Hey man, are you think they white with black stripes or black with like? I think they black with white. Well, cause like if you look at the hoofs, they black. They black, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I think they black. And with the hooves are always black, so I say he's black with white stripes. Type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, what if that? That's like they feet, you know what I'm saying? But they like really born white type shit. Like, How know? they look when they come out? I don't know. I never. I don't I think they got stripes like that when they come out. I never seen a freshly born one. You know what's scary about these mugs? No. You look like you gonna beat them up, but you get kicked by one of them joints. You're, you're done. done. Cooked. It's like getting shot by a shotgun. Done. Boom! Ow! Ah! 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 I'll give you a carrot, man. Hey man, they have a good fuck. I can't exactly tell you who's influencing who. Just know, Zari and Sophia give any cheetah dog duo a run for their oh, money. She now, speaking of role models, have you seen this you? video of a panda struggling to break bamboo? <laughs> well, that's Mang Er, and he's not struggling. The story goes, he was hand raised by humans his entire life, and while a 250 pound bear might have no problem snapping sticks, a weaker human will. So apparently, years of watching his surrogates get humbled oh, by a bamboo somehow taught him he's that like, that face is necessary to break it. You can even find videos where he breaks it, starts eating, really realizes he forgot to struggle just to grimace and continue. Oh Pandas are a God. lot of things, and apparently good as Simon says is one of them. They're also by far the most expensive animal you'll see in a zoo. Any American zoo that wants a panda will have to pay a small annual leasing fee of up to a million dollars, along with 600,000 for every cub born there. Add the millions to- What? I ain't gonna lie. Hey. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I, what, what they at? They in Asia? Hey, we boy, I'm about to capture 30 of them niggas. Hey, what's good, dog? Uh, we finna get a bear. Right. Painted black and white. Mm. Make sure we keep up with the dye routine. Mm. Uh, you know Amazon find some body paint. You you got the right fucking Y'all, idea. No, I'm not getting close to no bear. Yeah, you know, get a yeah. club. Get bro, a club. Bro, that means we either gotta get next to a black bear or a brown. You don't need a fucking bear out the jungle, nigga. You here? Okay, you fucking. <laughs> to build their enclosures and the thousands spent feeding them and the black and white bamboo bear is about five times more expensive than second place and that's literally the biggest thing alive with legs and best believe they know it you uh -huh. might never meet a more high NBA maintenance NBA young panda <laughs> <laughs> Girl, what do you mean what I can't have no more? No more. Now, in 2014, the Chengdu Research Base set up a live stream so viewers could watch Expecting Mother. I, oh, these names are killing me. I Hin 
bring another panda into the world. It was then cancelled after it was discovered she had faked her pregnancy. So now the same animal that got its brain nerfed by nature figured out that if they can play pregnant even after the hormones wear off, they can finesse preferential treatment. And they're not wrong, any future mother pandas are moved to a single with AC, they get round the clock care, and more fruits and bamboo. Quite frankly, I don't blame the bears for working smarter. But it gets even crazier. Did you know pandas can be bougie? With yeah. Excuse the fuck out of me. Without them circles, uh -huh. boy, them mugs would be terrifying. Oh hell yeah! Look at that face. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. If that mug eye was, circles. Yeah. If that mug look... just a black void of an eye. If it, no, just all oh, white. white. Boy, that'd be terrifying. Look, he's looking at you. Just blame the bears for working smarter. But it gets even crazy. Eye contact. Did you know pandas can be bougie? Mei Lun and Mei Hun were two pandas born and raised in the Atlanta Zoo, but were sent back to China in 2013. The only problem? They refused to eat any traditional Chinese meals, only American. They were not rocking with the Wawa Tao. They wanted biscuits and cookies. And pandas aren't even the only ones to pull some stuff like this. Japan's Akone En was used to feeding their residents Aji, or Japanese horse mackerel. But thanks to inflation, they decided to cut costs by switching to a cheaper alternative, Saba. And wouldn't you know, the penguin with king in its name was not about to eat like a peasant since them and the otters refused to substitute. You see, that's the part of zookeeping they don't tell you. All that time spent preparing fish, slaving away while the stench of your profession dents your social life, just for an uppity tuxedo chicken to choose hunger strike. Man, you know they don't get paid enough for that. Literally the only compromise was mixing the cheap fish with the algae. As you can see, some animals are way more high maintenance than others, but some are too difficult to even exist in zoos. Think about it. Think of all the zoos you've ever been to and try to see if you can come up with any notable absences. Wait, 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 wait. I only been to like one or two, so like I haven't been to one in a while. I seen all the ones I can think of, like like rhinos and shit and elephants and giraffes and all that stuff. But what's Koala's. not there? Koala, koala? No, Koala's they be captured. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying. Um, kangaroo. Have y'all seen kangaroos? I'm pretty sure no. they got kangaroos. I'm pretty sure somebody captured. And like Australia, yeah, 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 there's too many kangaroos not to have yeah, some in captivity. Yeah. Um, I know they got alpacas and llamas. Tight shit. I don't know. It's some, rhinos, it's some stuff hippos, that we don't think about. They got alligators. Mm -hmm. They got lemurs. They got birds. A bunch of monkeys and a bunch of birds. What the fuck don't they got? Seals? No, they got, they they got, got seals. They be hitting the ball and stuff. What about walruses? Walruses. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen a walrus. Maybe. Maybe a walrus. Um... Blue whale. They be, no, they be having whales. They gigantic. Uh, they, I know. Like, no, they uh, no, they be having like hey, a, blue whales. Not a, not a blue whale, but like the they they, orcas, but not. Oh, they, they do be having orcas, not a whale. You're right. Like a blue whale, like a big mother. But, but <laughs> I don't think it's because of maintenance. I think it's just because they can't get that. They can't get these enormous. Let's see. No. Okay, time's up. When's the last time you saw a moose in a moose! zoo? A lot of y'all, including me, probably never. You've probably seen bison, bears, bobcats, cougars. Y'all yeah. know I can yeah. speak on wolves, <laughs> but no moose. Why? Moose have specific diets, they're built like a tank and of course eat like one and really you can do everything right. They can still pass tense in a few years. And apparently feeding an antler warrior that can't even survive a president's term is a bad investment. So are leopard seals. You'll likely never see the op of happy feet in the zoo. Narwhals can literally die of social anxiety so they're out. Tarsiers sometimes seppuku themselves in captivity so- Hey, there's more! Oh yeah. Well, oh, that's a no-go. And they oh, say goodness. dietary restrictions are why proboscis monkeys are rare in zoos. Oh, I call bull shark. It's definitely because Shinazi might be the most Damn, yo-yo. My fault. Ooh. My fault. Ooh. I didn't mean it. Ooh. I didn't fucking mean it. Ooh. I didn't mean it, bro. Because this chat be on this. I watch too many yo-yo streams. They be like, damn, the snot on that animator. I just... <laughs> <laughs> appropriate just, animal to take your kids to see. And yes, my head's here for a reason. I'm not about to catch an age restriction no over way. an overexposed lipstick dispenser. Or they could just use fake animals, because it's not like that, that hasn't happened like before in 1980s. It look like that director. Uh, not Scorsese. He always has the glasses. What do you could direct it? Yeah, what did he um, do? I, I, it escapes me right now. But he's a big director. He always has the glasses, really big nose. I think I know the face you're talking about. I don't know his name. Like, hold on. Right. Or they could just use... Right here. What is his name? I know exactly who you're talking is about. Is Spielberg? 
I don't. No, I, don't I, can, think it's I don't know words. names. I don't know names, but I do know the face you're talking about. Uh-huh. Martin Scorsese. Uh. Uh, director with a big nose. Let's look it up. With a big, with big glasses. This one. Yeah. What the name is? Uh. I don't know. Or right, actually, go back, go back, go back twice. One more. Him. Him. Oh. Him. <laughs> Scorsese. It's Scorsese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah come on, hey, look, just like Scorsese, bro. Hey, put some blood. Put some glasses yeah. on it. That's Martin yeah, that's, Scorsese. Yeah, that's him. Use fake animals, cause it's not like no that hasn't happened before. Scorsese. In 1987, a zoo and. Fuck him. I like, I like, I like the record. Yeah, he, like, it's cool, but like, you apologizing like we can't, we, we gonna work with him or something? I'm gonna try one day. Yeah, he wanna, you know. Uh. Don't crush his dreams, bro. Uh. He's sorry. Yeah, he's sorry. Uh. I'm not, nigga. Fuck you. Talk about <laughs> Whoa. 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 My career. <laughs> he's sorry, I ain't, nigga. <laughs> Suck, nigga. <laughs> Stand China on. was exposed for painting a sun bear and presenting it as a panda. That's oh, a yeah. sun bear, by the way. Oh. In 2018, a zoo in Cairo. <laughs> Thin ass bear. Yeah. Skinny ass bear. That's a. <laughs> yeah, the one that we like humans. That's a fucking skinwalker, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Look how that nigga standing, bro. Yeah. He just saw something atrocious, bro. Oh my god. That nigga traumatized. <laughs> Please let me go to sleep. Yeah, Look at his toes. Bro. <laughs> Look at it, girl. <laughs> Ew. Hell no. Yeah, he did. A sun bear, by the way. In 2018, a zoo in Cairo did the same, except they had a donkey what? and zebra face. What? 2013, and we're back in China, except this controversy was about their resident African lion. There's a lion. Oh my, I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that. <laughs> oh, man. There's a dog that looks like that, but they're really, I think they call it the bed master. That is a master, ain't it? Yeah. That's they're a master. huge. Yeah. And mean, oh, but yeah. they so when I say they big, they're big, they're huge. And I'll never forget I saw this video. It was an orange one. It was either orange or gray. I just remember that mug was tweaking, and it was on the chain, right? Mm -hmm. And the dude was like, "Oh, stop!" So he was saying it was speaking Chinese, but he was basically like, "Chill." That mug was like, ah, ah, bro, bro, <laughs> the oh hell no. <laughs> Bro, the camera turned so fast. I hear it. Ah! <laughs> that nigga was running for his life, boy. I don't even try. No. But by far, my favorite counterfeit creature story is. These dogs are advertised what? as panda dogs. They're just dogs, okay? According to Chinese state media, the zoo confirmed it guide the dog's fur to look like pandas to fill in the blank of not having actual pandas. Oh, no, if I took time. Hey, if I gotta, if I gotta pay a million, million dollars. Million, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I, Why I gotta pay with a panda have a baby? Thanks. I'm out of my bank. Right. Because they was fucking yeah. to see a panda and got this. I, I would be disappointed. Can, as long as I can pet it, though. Yeah, like, can, let me keep it. Come here, come here, fat man. Look at that motherfucker. Look at that fence. Oh my God. Probably go and spend more. Man, they got pandas from Timu. I can't even be mad. So obviously people are usually happy to see animals at zoos. <laughs> You ever wonder how the animals feel? Well, someone did. In a study from Nottingham Trent and Harper Adams University, studied over 250 animals in zoos to see how their behaviors changed around human company. Using hours of observation and research, they found that the animal most excited to see people at zoos, and I really hope this is true, were elephants. Elephants Aww. showed the most positive reactions to large groups of people, becoming really more active, like more playful, and overall seeming to have a better time when Thailand. humans were around. The other people happy yeah. animals included cheetahs, jaguars, penguins, Grizzly bears, polar bears, a cow called a batang. Hey man, I think I'm, the polar bears was trying to eat. I don't think yeah, they was. I ain't had food. <laughs> oh, there's so much potential back there. Servals and black-tailed prairie dogs. And on the they other side, really the animals they, that seemed to like human company the least were hedgehogs, ostriches, marsupials like kangaroos, ungulates like giraffes and antelopes, and probably most random of all, the tuatara. They have three eyes and apparently none of them want to see us. As for the rest, the vast majority of animals had no reaction. 
The study does raise an interesting question and that's how the pandemic affected zoo animals. Believe it or not, some animals actually started to miss people. The worldwide panoramic left elephants confused and disappointed, birds like Aww. kias and cockatoos missed the attention, and you even had apes like chimps actively looking for missing visitors. And while the shutdown gave us gems like penguins exploring empty aquariums or a sea lion getting introduced to a tegu, by far the best story to come out was what happened in a Japanese aquarium. You see, the eels in Tokyo Sumida Aquarium were used to people, but the pandemonium turned them back people shy, and those same eels would now hide in the sand whenever a worker or someone would walk past. The problem Aww. is, that made it almost impossible to check up on them and keep them healthy. The solution was the aquarium asked people to FaceTime their Aww, eels to familiarize them with people, like some exposure therapy. There was a legitimate time where you could have gone on a date with an antisocial eel, and the worldwide Panera <laughs> brought a lot of bad, but this was definitely a bright spot. But now, zoos are back open, so here's some hacks to get the most oh, out of your experience. Animals are going to be Lizard. most active on cooler, cloudier days, and they I usually went to peak. One of my first zoos, it was such a terrible experience, was the fucking Bronx Zoo, bro. I mean, it don't even sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a bunch of animals in the middle of the fucking city, bro. What was it was animals. Like, what kind? They're like, cows and shit. Bro. Moo. Man, what's so crazy is, like, it was, like, it. The, the the fucking zoo had the circumference of the, the zoo stank as fuck. Because it's, it's hot as hell. There's no trees to really give them shade like that. And it was just... It was already city stank. I'm going to be so real with y'all, bro. Bro, they got to be illegal. Oh, they, the bro, they don't got no... Bro, I know right. for a fact that joint don't got no kind of funding no more. He's <laughs> in the Bronx, bro. You mean on 114th and 6th Broadway? Yeah, yeah, we had a line escape. It killed Charlie. <laughs> sad, sad case. It well, fuck him. Well, hey. fuck him. You want to go down to the bodega on 12th? <laughs> <laughs> well, get a sandwich for Charlie on me. <laughs> Fuck, because as soon as the door is open. Also, you're going to want to aim for a random weekday since the less crowded, the better. Try it. If you can be there the next overcast 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, I swear you'll see a different zoo. And if you're a cat person, you might want to wear some Calvin Klein. No, seriously, the Klein is a favorite for cats of all kinds, from cheetahs to cougars, from lions to leopards. In fact, researchers have caught wild jaguars on camera by dousing the trap in obsession for men. So next time you're at the zoo and end up in big cat country, go ahead and spritz some of the Klein and see what happens. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I imagine I'm gonna get a couple comments disappointing to me for not blasting zoos for 15 minutes, that I can't possibly care about animals if I still go to them. Here's my take. I've always said that zoos are capable of a lot of good and a lot of bad, but a lot of them are an invaluable resource for conservation and awareness. And while I agree, there are some species that are just not built for zoos. A majority of them are there because they literally would be worse off in the wild. Chevalsky's horse was basically halfway down the grave, but it was the work of zoos that helped bring them back from the brink. Same thing with the California condor, and about a dozen more. And spare a thought for zookeeper. Ain't that an impala? I know the real name is like antelope, but that's what's on the side of impalas, ain't it? I don't know. It's it like it, it looked like it, but I don't really think that's it. Really. really blew my world when I realized the car was named after the animal for real. I was young, but like still, yeah. like damn, they couldn't even that's be original cool. for real. Yeah, that's kind of, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Mustang after a horse, that's true. Yeah, yeah. No, Hellcat after a demon. It's after a demon. Well, no, it's an animal. No, it's not an animal. But you thinking of servers? I don't think there's an actual hell. Okay. I mean, it could. Like, isn't a hellcat a literal demon? It's a hellcat. Like, uh, I'm it's a cat with red eyes. It's a demon. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Acting weird and shit. Oh, okay. hey, uh -huh. Those are overworked, underpaid, usually overqualified. And like I said, the smell isn't just something they leave at the office. Not all zoos are created equal, and it's at best lazy, and at worst, almost dangerous to put them all in the same boat. But I'ma stop yapping, drink water, hug your mother, support your local zoo, just make sure it's accredited. Matter of fact, give a zookeeper a hug, who knows how much they need it. And I'ma see y'all. Oh yeah, it was terrible, I seen that for In the next one. Oh, no. Yeah, sir. I'll get my boy book, by the way. Oh my god.